tell us a bit about your character and what attracted you to the script in the first place? Of course, yeah. Um, Sir Clifford, I think, is, is, is quite a complex individual. It was, it was that, that that sort of first drew me to him. And as I was sort of looking at it and reading the book and, and looking at um, Dave McGee's sort of interpretation of that, looking at how... Um, how you can sort of justify Clifford's approach to life. You know, he's dealing with so many um, changes in his circumstances, his place in society uh, alters quite heavily versus the, the sort of um, socialite that he hopes to be, the younger brother, to then inheriting the estate and keeping the town running to the best that he knows how, right? But he really lacks, I think, the emotional sort of language to deal with the problems he's faced with and, and that is eventually his undoing I think. Absolutely and that leads me nicely into the next question so do you think that's because of the circumstances he was in with you know being in the war and was that a challenge for you as an actor to approach that role? Absolutely yeah yeah I think um, I, I think the fact that his, his sort of standing in the family shifts and he has that responsibility of, of running the estate thrust upon him uh, alters him greatly but also his disability and, and returning as an injured man from the great war you know and um, being a disabled actor, being able to sort of tackle uh, that with an element of lived experience and, and finding what I can what I can make Clifford to be, if, if that makes sense, you know, sort of playing um, playing with um, my interpretation of his disability and bringing my lived experience to it and, and trying to bring some sort of honesty to it. Of course, and obviously the headlines are going to revolve around the intimacy in this movie, but what would you like audiences to take away from this film and what's the message you would like to get across to audiences? I, I think exactly that. I think you can't hope to do a, a truthful retelling of Lady Chatterley's Lover without dwelling on the intimacy. You know, it's, it's that that got it into so much trouble. Um, but I think it's wonderful that this, this is the first version with a female director. Um, Emma Corrin in the lead, they do such a wonderful job of giving, giving Connie real agency through the story. And being able to see it through her eyes is, uh, is a real refreshing sort Amazing. of stuff. Amazing. Thank you so much. No worries. My pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice.